Hello again, Pastor Walt Weiser, living in Fort Worth but serving at Lamb of God Lutheran Church in Flower Mound. John Bailey's A Diary of Private Prayer, and I certainly hope that every one of you connected to Mission of Christ Network has a copy of this by now. I, I know I've said to you before that I first discovered John Bailey in April of 1980. That was only five years into pastoral ministry for me, so I've been living with these prayers for over 40 years. I know that I've also mentioned to you that Dr. John Mel and I discovered several years ago that each of us has a, the copy of our sainted mother's John Bailey Diary of Private Prayer, and each of us discovered that our mother on the blank page had personalized and rewritten every single one of Bailey's prayers. And I believe that's exactly what Bailey intended from the beginning. And I think I've also mentioned to you that one of the things I so value about Bailey is that he helps me get out of my small world and into God's concern for the greater world at large. But on Easter Sunday morning, I, I discovered Bailey in a totally different way that gave new depth and meaning to several of his prayers. Easter Sunday morning, I got to lead the prayers. And so I said to the people of Lamb of God, I'm going to let John Bailey lead us his diary of private prayer as we begin our prayers on this Easter Sunday morning. So go back to wherever you were on Easter Sunday morning. We, we had all kinds of Easter lilies. We had Easter decorations. We had brass in the sanctuary. And here's how John helped us to begin our time of prayer. Oh God, you have proved your love for all people by sending us Jesus Christ our Lord, and you have illumined our human life with the radiance of his presence. Thank you for this, your greatest gift. Thank you, O oh God, <clears throat> for every day my Lord spent on this earth, for the record of his deeds of love, for the words he spoke for my guidance and help, for his obedience even to death, for his triumph over death, for the presence of his spirit with me now. Help me, Lord, to remember the blessed life that was once lived out on this common earth under these ordinary skies. May I take this memory into each task and duty of today. O oh God, you proved your love to us in the passion and death of Jesus Christ our Lord. May the power of his cross be with me today. May the power of his cross be with me today. May I love as he loved. May I be obedient even unto death. As I lean on his cross, may I not refuse my own, but rather may I bear it by the strength of his. Grant, O most gracious God, that as I kneel before you, I may be embraced in the great company of those you have saved and brought to life through the cross of Christ. Let the redeeming power that has flowed from his suffering through so many generations now flow into my soul. Here let me learn to find forgiveness of sin. Here let me learn to share with Christ the burden of the suffering of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. So right after the worship service, our senior pastor at Lamb of God, Pastor Rance Settle, said to me, I had no idea that Bailey had written a prayer specifically for Easter Sunday worship. I said, well, he didn't exactly. I, I sort of wove several of his prayers together. The first part of that prayer is from the morning of the sixth day, and then the power of his cross be with me today comes from the morning of the 11th day, and then the last paragraph was the last paragraph of his prayer for the evening of the 16th day. I simply wove them together in a way that seemed so appropriate for Easter. May the power of his cross be with me today, and let the redeeming power that has flowed through his suffering through so many generations now flow into my soul. It gave a whole new depth and meaning to Bailey's prayer as they were woven together, especially for Easter Sunday morning. So 
Bailey's prayers continue to grow in their depth and their meaning. May you take them with you as you take the power of his cross into your day. I'll see you again in a couple of weeks, just five or six minutes to encourage your own personal spiritual growth. Until then, the Lord bless and keep you.